Got in this little sweet little uh, slide scanner um, to where you can auto feed and it says on it here actually, it's a five megapixel, 1800 DPI. Um, it'll take up to a 32 megabyte card and the rapid slide feeder. So we'll get this open up. So we can take a look at it and we'll get it fired up and check and see how well it works. All right, now that I have it all open, um, the scanner really isn't that huge. It's rather kind of small. Um, here's our attachments that we have with it. We have negatives and slides. Um, we have our to the TV. We have a, a USB, the USB power, and the book and uh, a, a cleaner here on. So I'll read the book, figure it out, and we'll get it fired up and test it out. The scanner is really actually pretty easy to use. I loaded up some slides in the slide tray and I put some negatives inside the negative one. You also have another one in here if your negatives are more spread out. But once you put the memory card in, plug in the power, I'll go ahead and put in the slide. And the manual's pretty easy to follow, so we'll go ahead and just turn it on here. So it boots up. So I don't have a slide in there yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and feed one in. Stop. And we have our dot slide. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look right because it thinks it's a negative when it first boots up. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the settings here. Go to the menu. We're gonna go to the capture. And here we have our negative, our slides. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go up to slide, say okay. And now as you can see, the image lo looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead now and just take the tray out. We'll go ahead and put the negative scanner in. Putting it upside down, but now you can see it doesn't look good. I'll go ahead and go back in here. We'll go to the capture. We'll change it back down to a, a negative. Oh, sorry. We'll go to capture. We'll go up to the negatives and then we have a better looking image now. So it actually works very easy. Once I'm ready to go ahead and do a capture, I just hit the capture and it saves it to my device. And when I come back in here, I can kind of go ahead and go through them as I want to from different ones that I've captured. So very easy to use and you don't even have to be plugged into your computer to use it.